Trump's lawyer just made a huge misstep that sets the stage for a worst-case scenario in court. Donald Trump's lawyers don't seem to be good at anything, except perhaps from the perspective of the opposing counsel. No, Rudy Giuliani did not return to ramble on Fox News this time, but a new court filing by another of Trump's attorneys in an ongoing defamation lawsuit could spell bad news for the president. Trump, the man who once promised a vote for Hillary Clinton would ensure a president constantly under federal investigation, is presently in the throes of several high-profile lawsuits. The media storm surrounding Stephanie Stormy Daniels Clifford and her hotshot attorney Michael Avenatti makes hers the most discussed case, but there is another suit involving a young woman ensnared by the former reality TV star during a season of The Apprentice. Trump's attorney Mark Kasowitz is representing him in his defamation case against former Apprentice star Summer Zervis. On Tuesday, Kasowitz filed an answer to Zervis's lawsuit. The eight-page filing contains roughly 90 denials to various allegations brought forth by Zervis. It also repeatedly asserts that the president is immune from prosecution under the Supremacy Clause of the Constitution. As per usual, Trump likely thought this was his easy ticket out of this suit but once again, those pesky laws keep getting in the way. Under rules governing court proceedings, the filing of an answer by Trump means that Zervis legal team can now formally ask to depose the president. By responding to the allegations, Trump's attorney basically opened the door to the courtroom. This is a significant development in the case, considering lying under oath in a civil deposition led to President Bill Clinton's impeachment. Zervis's attorney, Marianne Meyer Wong, gleefully ran to CNN to share the news. Just like any other person being sued in a court of law in this country, the defendant was today required to answer the complaint filed by Ms. Zervis. We look forward to proving that his denials are baseless. Zervis's lawsuit alleges that Trump defamed her by publicly declaring she had fabricated her claims that Trump sexually assaulted her in 2007. Her case like Clifford's, came to light in the lead-up to the 2016 presidential election. In spite of all his strength, Clifford's attorney Michael Avenatti has so far only managed to rattle the president and has not been able to get him into a courtroom. It might be time for some of Trump's inner circle to retire if they don't, they're going to spend their golden years in prison.